Hello, Tiz. How's it going? How are you doing, my friend? I am thinking of things to do with stream avatars, because I haven't changed it from Pokemon in a couple weeks. Or a couple, well, it's been less than two weeks that I've had it up. I like having the Pokemons. They're alright. But imagine elephants of the rainbow. Like Dumbo elephants. Like every color of the rainbow elephants. That would be cool, I think. Or like different versions of uh, Shitbot or something like that. I feel like that would be also pretty cool. Your foot is hurty. Well, I hope it feels better soon. You gotta work it up so that you can be able to dance. You can't dance on a bum foot. Honestly, I don't know what today is. I, I don't remember what's gonna happen. It's, uh, it's gonna be pretty insane. I did end up resetting the stream boss down to 100 HP because it had gotten something absolutely insane. Something like almost 1500, nearly 2000. So, uh, it is completely reset. So, uh, each time... And it's still incremental, so um, it'll it'll slowly grow back up to where it was, but it'll be easier to knock it down again and get a new one each time. Hey, hobbits! Don't know if you heard what I just said, but I reset the uh, the stream boss so because it, the HP had grown to such a amount that uh, it was getting hard and not much fun for people to uh, knock it down and it would take way too long for it to happen so uh, I reset the HP it's now back to 100 it is still incremental so it still will gain about 200 HP each time it gets knocked down but that means that it's easier to knock it down for a decent amount of time we are. We are on the other side of big lore drop from Hitomi. So much got dropped. So many things. Uh, I don't know if you watched the last VOD or what. Um, I do know that I, I was working on YouTube videos today and I uploaded part 16. 17 still needs to be uploaded, but that's probably going to be uploaded after stream tonight. And, uh, so it, it's going to be fun. And, like, there's stuff that is being dropped that, like, there's so many plot twists going on that like some very important stuff is getting lost in the weeds but uh I'm excited I don't remember what's gonna happen <laughs> like I vaguely remember but I don't know exactly so it's it's gonna be very interesting I think might be getting close to the end don't remember we'll have to see but, uh, I don't know what I should play after this. I think I had Observation on my list. Um, he just got poked. Who did he get poked by? No poking. This isn't Facebook. Uh, let's see. 
uh, documents. Where did I put my game list? There it is. Walgreens. Huh. Uh, okay, so let's see. I think I had Observation next up on the list. But I, I do also have a bunch of other things on my list, like Never Alone, Firewatch, Life is Strange, Rhyme, uh, Paradise Killer, Obser Observation, uh, What Remains of Edith Finch, Grim Fandango, um, Man of Medan, one of the Harry Potter uh, games. So I think I'm, I think I'm gonna limit myself to one Harry Potter game a year, just to kind of like, I don't know, kind of pace myself with it, I guess. Um, some of these games are really big ones, so like, I might demo some of them. I might do just, uh, like, I, I don't know that I'll do full playthroughs. Uh, like, for an example, if I did 999, VLR, or ZTD, those are very long games. Uh, I think ZTD, no. VLR took uh, Super Great Friends, like, 40 entries. Like, he, he had 40 videos that he uploaded to his YouTube. It was insane. I don't know that I have the attention span <laughs> to do that right now. Because he went down every single route. Which is insanity. Um, let's see what else do I have on my list. I've got Man of Medan, Subnautica, Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines got recommended to me by Nauseam. Um... Uh, Sexy Brutale is one that I wanted to do. Bomber Grounds, suggested by Final Evil X. The Stanley Parable. Um, Monkey Island. Tangled Tower. Control. Moon. And Jenny LeClue Devec Detective Vu is a cute one. That, that actually might be a short one. How could I do this? I could do something where I do one episode of Life is Strange per week for a stream and just have a different thing. Because, I don't know. Someone who streamed Vampire, beware, it has very big time trigger warning moments. Be interesting, interested in knowing a little more about what type of triggers? Like, is it suicide or like transphobia or like what am I looking out for, I guess? But there's a whole bunch of different things. Um, we do have, if you do have a preference for one of those games, I do have the game suggestions uh, channel points uh, available for people to cast their votes. Um, if I do not hear otherwise, I might go for, um, uh, honestly, I might go for observation. Though I'm tempted, I am really tempted to go back to Outer Wilds, and here's my reasoning for this. Um, DLC dropped for it recently, and Nauseam has been, like, teasing me with it a bit. And by teasing, I mean he's streaming it, and for the first time, I can't watch his streams, because spoilers. And I really want to support his streams and be there, but I can't watch what he's streaming, because it's spoilers, and I haven't finished the game yet still, because I kept on getting so ADHD with it. And I'm, I don't know. It's it's frustrating. So 
I'm trying to figure out if there's a way that I can play that game and be directed and not be super ADHD about it. Other than having y'all trigger my ADHD sound thing all the time. So, I don't know. Anyways, oops, I'm late. It is time for us to play a video game. So give me a second, I'll get us on over. Okay, let's get this video game on up. I gotta remember which save room I'm in. So, Abyss. It would be this one, I guess? Abyss HQ sync room. Day 5. That sounds right. I don't believe we were in the middle of a sink anymore. That's right, we were right before... Either right before or right after. Right after, that's right. We were right after uh, being in um, Hitomi's thing. Alright, so... Uh, why did Rohan remove Manaka's eye? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Okay. Did you tell Renju about blackmailing So. No, I did not. All of this was my idea. Okay. Continuing Sunday's events. I probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back under the hood of the forklift. Then I left. Makes sense. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. It makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. The body did not disappear. It told me moved it. Those were the events at the warehouse Sunday night. Simple. Summarize for me. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nadami. Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. We can think about it later. More importantly... I headed for the exit. Wait! Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. But you have no idea where she is, right? Do you know something? Yes. What do you know? How do you know where Iris is? At around four o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Renju. We don't know that for certain. It could be number 89. Either way, Iris is in danger right now. Listen to the rest of the story. 
The voice asks for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. With me? Yes. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. Oh. What location? I'm sorry, but this stops now. Ah? Date, run! Boss! No! Please, do not worry. I merely put her to sleep. What are you doing? My orders! They told us to halt our investigation. The boss was already going against orders as it is. Which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. The investigation of Monica's murder. Monica? But her case is all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. So Sejima. So threatened us, didn't he? I don't know! But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation. As of five minutes ago. In fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. What will you do, Date? I suggest you comply. Iva, can you turn the power off? Easily. Alright, get ready. Three, two, one! Oh my. Now tell me, where is the location? It is. Are the uh, closed captioning working? I can't tell you. Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? But if I don't go with you... Alright, take me there. Test one, two, three. All right, cool. Thank you. Abandoned factory, Tuesday, nine thirty p.m. I know this place. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. I knew that. How did I know that? The corners of my mind are aching. Date, I'm sorry, but this is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. They are attempting to wipe all the data. Everything I have accumulated over the last five years, including backups. Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. That's not good. I summoned some ice, but that will only buy time. <laughs> four hours the that little fan hammer, I love it. <gasps> I want it. Access watch it. Let core from them. And they've been able to destroy my mind. Why? It must be related to the orders they are receiving at the top. The higher ups clearly see you as a threat, Dante. They are attempting to limit your power by removing you from your information. I need that as like a sub gif or something. The most important thing now is finding Iris and bringing her to a bit within four hours. Date? What's wrong? Nothing. Just... My eye is not gonna right. be working. Now you know. So get moving. I'm counting on you, Date. Four hours. 
It's fine. That should be plenty of time. I gripped my evolver and got moving. I'll go in first. You wait here. Okay. Is that... That's a sink machine. And that's... Renju! Renju. And we're electrocuted now. Who dat? 89? The case remains unsolved. Yes, I would like to save. All right, so that's locked. We just got locked again, yeah. So that is locked. Gotta play through more of the story. Uh, let's see. This is undiscovered. Um, I think we already figured that out. Hmm. Yeah, so we might have to go through this again. I think this was when we were in Iris's Somnium? I think it's the second one. That's true, the fork did come really early in this one. What is this place? I'm gonna save and make a new one. It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? I don't remember the choices I made. Did we watch the murder? Or we looked- I think we looked at the blood. Or no, we watched the murder last time, so it gives us a check mark if we watched something. Uh, let's check out the doors, I guess? A double door. Uh, tackle or open? Open? It doesn't open. 
We don't have to worry about it. A double door. Let's tackle. Hiya! Hiya! Stop that! You're not helping! <laughs> mm, looks like. A CRT TV. I think we hit it because I don't remember spinning the dial. That I don't remember. Stop. I definitely don't remember that. So I guess we looked at the blood last time? What is this video? It is difficult to believe, but these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer. What? What is going on here? Iris, what are you hiding? We should continue. There are more objects to inspect now. A lot more. This time we watched the murder. Okay, now we gotta strangle it. Hmm. A torso with a head. If it has a head, is it still going to Good point. Torso? What would you call it? I saved. Leave me alone. Uh. No matter what, we gotta. Well, it said strangle, so choke. While I was unconscious, the room changed. I'm tired of this. We have no choice but to investigate. This is... Wow. This is a lot. Very, very intense. Uh, beat it to death. Where are we beating? Medicine bottle, operating table. Mirror, A maybe? Body mirror. Punch? Are you sure I can break this mirror? No, I don't think it's straight. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. Apparently See? not. It won't break. What was the point of that? Four minutes. TV, medicine bottle. Operating table? An operating table. Perform surgery. I have a feeling that's it, maybe? Who 
do you intend I operate on? Can you just pretend to do it? Pretend to do it? That's... That's gonna be a lot of time. Nothing's happening. How disappointing. Damn. I thought it might trigger a memory to recreate itself or something. Perhaps you should abandon that line of thinking. Beat it to death. Beat it to death. Beat what to death? A drug bottle that holds some kind of liquid. Chug, smell, investigate. There's another TV over here. An old television. There's a head. Investigate. It's the world beyond, Date. It's just static. My generation has never seen static. Right. You're only five years old. Do not measure my age on the same scale as a human's. My mental age is ten times that. Mature woman, huh? Three minutes, Date. An old television. I'm gonna try hitting it. I think we found it. Maybe? No? An old television. Turn the dial. Beat it to death. What is beat it to death? Drug bottle that holds some kind of liquid. Deathened. Yeah, that's true. Investigate, smell, chug. Body mirror. Look, talk. I'm gonna look. A torso in the reflection. A torso? Not you? Is there any meaning to this? I can't say. What is going on? I feel like it's in the mirror, but I'm not sure. A full body mirror. Talk? Can you talk? Can you talk? What? Don't copy me! What? Don't copy me! Pervert! Date is a pervert! Pervert! Date is a pervert! Why do I have to get called a pervert? And twice! So that's not You're it. Less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. I don't know where it is. A double door. It's not that. Was there any more options? A full body mirror. Didn't open anything. Uh. The only thing I haven't done is medicine bottle. Kind of uh, investigate. There is no label. I cannot determine what is inside. It's probably dangerous. I agree. We should not touch it if we do not know what it is. Even insomnium, some things should not be done. A drug bottle that holds some kind of liquid. 
Uh, smell it. A syrupy smell, like sweet almonds. Syrup? Think it Cyanide? Would or something? If it isn't syrup, it's nitroglycerin. Or sorry, yeah. Is that here? Nitroglycerin reacts violently upon light impact. It needs to be mixed to lower its sensitivity. Mixed with what? Acetone. Acetone? It is best that we do not disturb this for now. Right. Is there any other bottles? A drug bottle that holds some kind of liquid. We're running out of options, so uh what the heck? Let's chug the acetone. Do not pressure me, Date. Pressure you? Into drinking alcohol. <laughs> Is it alcohol? Well, unknown. Uh, no, this we just we know it's nitroglycerin. I'm ordering you to drink it. You are exploiting your position of power. I will set up a labor union. An AI labor union? Sounds dystopian. I won't drink it. Fine. Okay, well that didn't help. Uh, what are we supposed to beat to death? It's an operating table. Sleep, investigate. The fabric on the surface is frayed. It appears to be in use despite its age. They did surgery here? Surgery or worse. You have one minute left. It's an operating table. Sleep is really big. Let's sleep there. How does it feel? Awful. Am I going to be killed? Modified? I'm restless. I can't take the suspense. Do you think they'll modify you into a grasshopper or a spider? That's not what I'm talking about. Okay, it's, uh... it's an operating. No more options on that. What's left? A drug. Bo Looked at all of those. Body. Looked at all those. What am I missing? An old television. Turn the dial. That's that's the one I'm missing. Currently. Might have to go back one checkpoint. That's the beat to death. That video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Yeah. Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. The oil drum, shelf, and another torso have been added. Let's go. Dante, you've got less than 30 seconds. A torso similar. Uh. Punch. I didn't get hit, did I? There is no effect on your body, Dante. Hit my soul. While you were unconscious, a television and an old so spin dial and, and then. This ride. If my calculations are correct, it will be over soon. Spin dial right. punch. Uh. 
and we're not going to have enough time to get to the next because we just used our last bit. Time's up. Uh, return to lock two. Yep. An old turn dial. Oh, damn! I just I'm I'm an idiot. I just ate that forty seconds. It appeared to be the second victim. What virus is unknown? Guess that indeed. The oil drum, shelf, and another torso have been. Let's go. Four minutes. A torso. Volume. Want to get off this ride? If my calculations are correct, it will be over soon. Let's hope you're right. All right, now we gotta shoot to death. Three minutes, Dante. The worn-out reference book. TV up gun. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Uh investigate. It is a pistol. It appears to be fixed with a vice. Why would this be here? What's this? The trigger. There is a stick in the hole of the trigger guard. That's suspicious. That is suspicious. Why is that there? A revolver. Uh, let's try jumping. Weekly Shonen. Don't say it. <laughs> I did the best I could. I am not a cyborg, and thus I cannot reach that height. This is not my fault. No one's blaming you. <laughs> I'm blaming you. Alright, so... Gas canister? Maybe... We're not reference book. Maybe the gas canister? A common gas canister. Open valve, kick, smell. Kick, maybe? Oops, sorry, B. Sorry, Iba. Are you okay? Uh, it hurts. I might not be able to stand for a while. Don't give up. I believe in you. I believe that you are more of a sadist than you let on. So a let's open the valve. Canister. It's rusted shut. I cannot open it. If you can't, then. It is meant to be closed? I think so. A common gas. Don't know what smell would do for me then. Uh, reference book. Let's go check that out. It is a thick book. Uh, let's throw it. Fly away now! It disappeared. Maybe it wasn't that special. Weird. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. Medicine, bottle, mirror, operating table. 
Anything new is the medicine? That holds some kind of liquid. Wait a minute. If this is the nitroglycerin, would that be the acetone? A common gas canister. The smell tingles like sweet and sour. A ketone, perhaps acetone? Acetone, acet, some relation to iris? I cannot determine that with the evidence we have. More than likely. Okay, it is so acetone, nitroglycerin. Good to know. A drug bottle that holds some kind of liquid. How do I get it over there? A syrupy smell, like sweet almonds. Syrup? If it, if it is... Why is that? Nitro... It needs to be... Mixed with what? Acetone. Acetone? It is best... Right. How do I... What am I missing? An up... Sleep investigate now. Okay, let's see, what do I have? Doors, operating table, TV, medicine bottle, mirror. I haven't checked out the mirror yet. A full look, talk. How do I get it over there? Drug. Still investigate. There is no label. I can it's probably. I agree. Even in some. What's that? A drug. It's still chug. You have one minute left. Nothing left there. Is there something with the gun that I missed? A revolver. No. Doors. A double door. I already did open the tackle. It's an op- I already looked at all those. The drum's not even on the list. What is- oh, TV. I haven't checked an out the TV. An TV. Turn the dial, hit investigate. Um, turn the dial. Victim of the original Cyclops killer. Why does Iris know that? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. She even reproduced the circumstances of the killer. Would her imagination explain that? Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. Date, you've got less than 30 seconds. That probably opens something else up. Uh, 
map. Ooh, locker. Where's the locker? Just a locker. Uh, open, listen. It's all right. More importantly, the heck? It's a mouse trap. Why there was a check. There might have been a um, locker in the last time we played the Somnium. I don't know. The hell? Very long. Nice. Wait, what? Nani the hell? We shot the body. Day three, Sunday. What happened in that Somnium? Gonna save. We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killings. That means... The murders that occurred six years ago are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium. No. That means the person who killed them was... What do you think, boss? Uh, what about the original Cyclops serial killings? The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. That's true. There isn't. It's a coincidence. Really? Really. Seems a little too coincidental. Uh, about the original killings, please. Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. Yeah, but no why? No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. What if I pout really cute and blink my eyes at you? Would you tell me then? The blue figure from the sink. Help me understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops Ow. serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer. Right. 
Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. The original Cyclops killer was... It can't be. That's impossible. Date, you cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye. So you steal them from others. I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? How would you know? You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. Uh, why did the original killer appearance Iris's Somnium? You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? That's intense. Mm. Boss has a serious look on her face. Hey, traitor. Um, about the original Cyclops killer. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing. But in reality, it was dropped completely. Uh, about the original and new incidents. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Are you sure? Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. That implies Don't you know who did it. it. Just trust me. It's always dangerous when a government man says that. Um, why did the original killer appearance Eris's Somnium? The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the sync machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia, and why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. The red figure from the sink. In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. Why did the killer appear in Iris's Somnium again? It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. This can be expressed as an equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, of course, means that dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier... Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Uh, are all memories real? Pewter, you said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. What about things you see in movies or television? 
The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. Okay. Summarize for me. Didn't learn anything from speaking with Boss and Pewter. If anything, the mystery only grew deeper. No answers, only questions. Pewter shook me from my thoughts. Dante, it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. I headed to the sink room. Hey, Iris. About that dream earlier. Dream? What dream? There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. Then what about the Cyclops killer? From six years ago. Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news. But I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? No. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But... Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Yes, we know. We we just saw that. <laughs> Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. You cannot decline, Date. Got a lot of things that we can't uh, actually use in court. Date, could we make a stop first? Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. You know about that place? Yeah. Mr. Okiura took me before. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here? It might take a while. What do you think? There's no reason to refuse. Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her, too. Why does this feel like a setup? Alright, sure. Iris nodded and pulled out her phone. Is she sending a Nile message to someone? I was curious, but I didn't want to pry. I turned the wheel and drove to Marble. Bad feelings. Marble, Sunday, 9.41 p.m. When I walked in, I didn't see Mama anywhere. To my surprise, I saw Ota sitting at the counter. Tessa! Oh, Ota! What are you doing here? Where's Mama? Oh, she left a little while ago. She said something about going to help an acquaintance. She told me to watch the place until she got back. How well do you know Mama? Not at all. It's my first time here. I wasn't particularly surprised. Mama's always depended on the kindness on strangers ever since she opened Marble. Uh, isn't your phone broken? No. This is my new one. You're thinking of the one I dropped in that puddle. Never thought I'd run into you here. I was niling with Tessa earlier. She said she was going to Marble, so... I got here just before you did. Look, I was really worried about her. She was about to be charged with a serious crime. What was that thing about? This actually works out nicely. I want to ask you something, Ota. It's about a Nile message you sent Iris. 
You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that thing. That you'd stay quiet no matter what. What were you talking about? Well, uh... I'll tell her about the two witter thing. I swear I'll do it. Geez, fine! Just don't tell anyone else, okay? But before I tell you, who's that? What? At the door. Someone's standing outside. How did I know this was a setup? Freaking smile. Iba, no! She's on the frets. Day four, Monday. Marble, 2.48 p.m. Or a.m. Sorry. When I woke up, I was lying on the sofa. Where am I? My head was killing me and my memory was foggy. I felt a sudden pain in my neck. I shot up, rubbing my neck. When I looked over the counter, I saw a monster staring back at me. It took me a few seconds before I realized it was just Mama. It looks like you're awake now. As Mama spoke to me, it all came rushing back. I remembered everything. Uh, why didn't you wake me up? I tried. You wouldn't budge. I thought you were passed out drunk, so I left you like that. But I didn't have a glass in front of me, right? So you weren't drunk? Didn't have a single drop. Oh, I thought you were drinking straight out of the bottle. Just like the old days. What time is it? It'll be three o'clock soon. In the morning, of course. Where's Ota? Ota? The boy I asked to watch the bar? I'd say he's too old to be called a boy, but yeah. He was already gone when I came back. All I saw was you getting your beauty sleep on the floor. Damn it, Ota. What are you thinking? It appears that he took off with Iris. What were you doing during all this? My power was shut down due to the stun gun. I have rebooted in safe mode and am now operational. Possible incoming Dutton, phone call? The boss is calling. Oh, how am I going to report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... Well, just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. This again. Different circumstances, though. Iris! No, that's... The criminal is streaming this live. Iva, the source. Identify. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now. I thanked Mama and ran out of marble. Guess all of roads leave to so, don't they? What's our ETA? Our destination is far from here. 20 minutes at the fastest. We're not gonna get there in time. Just please let me make it in time. We're not gonna make it this time. We're too far away. <sighs> that sick bastard! Hold on! I'll save you! Ota! 
있어! 으아! Kept my foot to the gas the whole time. I could feel the sweat on my palms. The engine raised to a high-pitched scream, but I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding in my ears, shaking me to the core. How much time had passed? The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached a low bridge, or sorry, long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. Polar bear's back. No, it can't be. No. Stop. Those affected by gore may want to turn their eyes away. Harper Warehouse District, Monday, 3.35 a.m. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Um, what? Ota? Ota. Do what now? So both Ota and Iris are dead now. Police headquarters, Monday at 10.02 a.m. There you are. Finally. I was looking all over for you. It's rare to see you down like this, but it's understandable. You blame yourself for this, don't you? Beating yourself up about taking Iris to marble, and about letting Ota get the upper hand on you. Am I right? Shall I tell you what Investigation HQ thinks? Ota Matsushita is a criminal stalker who committed murder-suicide. Ota had a selfish love for Iris. He was under the delusion that Iris loved him too. But Iris refused Ota. So Ota decided that he and Iris should be together in the afterlife, killed her, then killed himself. That's ridiculous. Ota would never kill Iris. And how do you explain the other two murders? Iris's left eye was hollowed out. Just like Renju and Shoko. 
those three murders were definitely executed by the same person. The new Cyclops killer. There's no way that's Ota. Too many pieces don't fit. Too many contradictions, like killing Iris. Such as? Um... Ota had no incentive to kill Renju. Maybe he was thinking like this. The reason Iris and I can't be together is because her agency prohibits it. Making the president, Renju, the ultimate bad guy in his mind. Mizuki is Ota's close friend. Do you really think Ota would kill his friend's father? Uh, what about the polar bear costume? The culprit was wearing a polar bear costume, probably to hide their identity. But if murder-suicide was the plan, the costume served no purpose. Yeah, why would he put the costume back on? Uh, Ota had no incentive to kill Shoko. Shoko was married to Renju. Maybe he was trying to get at Renju by killing her. That's a stretch. They've been divorced for years. Ota knows all about it. He wouldn't use Shoko to get to Renju. Ota's behavior during the video. Stay away from Tessa! Ota showed himself on the stream. If he was going to kill Iris and then himself, why would he do that? The only reason you would show yourself like that is to prove that you weren't the culprit. Ota and the polar bear on the screen at the same time would prove that they're not the same person. That behavior would be totally unnecessary if he was going to commit suicide anyway. Well, maybe he wasn't planning on dying at first. After he killed Iris, he realized that he couldn't live with himself. So he lies down on the workbench and turns on the ice cutting machine himself? I don't buy it. There are some additional discrepancies. I analyzed the investigation report. Judging by his wound, Ota was stabbed in the side by a kitchen knife or something similar. Are you sure? I am. So Mayumi did uh, go there? I told boss what Iba found. Oh, I know that. Well? Ota could have stabbed himself. Maybe why? he thought it would be a fatal wound, but when it didn't work, he went for the ice cutting machine. Then shouldn't we have recovered the kitchen knife from the scene? Maybe he threw it in the ocean. Boss, come on. Ota goes out to the water, stabs himself in the gut, throws the knife over the side, then walks back to the warehouse? Well, I wasn't being serious. I didn't think Ota was the culprit from the beginning. I was just playing devil's advocate for HQ. Really? Yes, really. Anyway, Acting Ota kind of didn't odd. kill anyone, and he didn't kill himself. Here's what I think happened. Stay away from Tessa! Ota knew Iris was kidnapped, so he rushed onto the scene. That's when he saw the culprit wearing the polar bear costume. He tried to fight him off, but ended up being stabbed in the side. He was weakened and losing blood at the culprit's mercy. The culprit forced him into the costume, then under the ice cutting machine. And then... Then... who is the culprit? I wish I knew. We're up to four victims. But Ota was a special circumstance. He wasn't specifically targeted by the culprit. Right. And he was the only one to not have his eye pulled out. So let's focus on the three other victims. Shoko, Renju, and Iris. What connects these three? Connections. If you find a connection between the victims, you find a connection to the culprit. That's the theory of investigation, right? You think the new Cyclops killer is related to them somehow? Maybe, maybe not. But it's a good starting point. Um, Oda's mom, Mayumi? Mayumi had motive for killing Iris and Renju. Mayumi hated Iris, and she didn't think well of Lemnusgate either. And since Renju is the president... Anyway, the weak point is Renju's ex-wife, Shoko. I can't imagine why Mayumi would kill her. And above all else, she would never harm her only son, let alone kill him. 
Horus's mother, Hitomi. Hitomi and Renju are definitely linked. They were high school classmates. And she did say that she met Shoko twice. But I can't imagine she would kill Iris in such a gruesome way. Yeah, her no own daughter. No matter what the circumstances were, it seems impossible to me. Um, Shoko uh, and Renju's daughter, uh, Mizuki. Mizuki has the strongest connections with all three victims. Shoko and Renju were her parents, and she was close friends with Iris. She was good friends with Ota, too. But that's why I could never believe Mizuki would kill all four of them. She's also 12. Thinking of her as a suspect is ridiculous. Uh, Moma Kumakura. Renju and Shoko were connected to the Kumakuras. But there's no connection to Iris. So who? Congressman Sojima. Renju, Shoko, and So. There is a connection between Renju and Shoko through the Kumakuras. But again, I can't see any clear link to Iris. Uh, me? I know Renju and Shoko. And I'm connected to Iris. But I have an alibi. Aside from Shoko, there's no way I could have killed any of them. No. Now that I think about it, Shoko too. I don't remember killing her. My memories from six years ago are missing, but I still have my memory of recent events. And if I start doubting myself now... Date, I can say without a doubt that there is zero possibility you are the new Cyclops killer. Yep. I have been working with you for years. I know better than anyone that you are innocent. I thought it over, boss. Of the people I know, I can't peg any of them as the murderer. And no leads to pursue? No. Then there's only one thing you can do. Continue your investigation. Do whatever it takes to get the culprit. To get justice for the victims. You're right. Got it, boss. Alright, I guess we've got locations to search. Uh, cold Storage Warehouse, Matsushita Diner, Date's Residence, Sagan Residence, and Marble. Let's start with the warehouse. Why not? Alright, Monday. Uh, first, let's save. We haven't done that in a while. Ali, you're being ADHD? Please focus. Oh, you're right. I didn't have a break. So, let's go ahead and take a break. There we go. The temperature hadn't raised much at all. The cold air sunk into my skin. But the center of my body was burning hot. Any clues? Uh, no, nothing so far. Mm. Inspector is doing his duties, as usual. Any progress? I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. Police officer. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. The same Okiuras we know. 
Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. But it can't be a coincidence. It certainly is suspicious. I bet you Manaka is still this in the forklift. This forklift is old. It does not appear to be functional. It has not been moved in some time. Forklift. Tire and floor are covered with a lay layer of ice. Iris and Nota were uh, sliced in two by this ice cutting machine. Iris and Nota. Iris's estimated time of death and cause of death have been confirmed. The video was not a recording. It was a live stream filmed in real time. Which means Iris's time of death is 3.20 a.m. Right here, Iris and Ota were... I am sure you are already aware of Ota's time of death. Just before I arrived, about 3.30 in the morning. And the cause of death. Right, about that. Ota had a stab wound from a kitchen knife in his side. Correct. What was the exact cause of death? Was it the knife wound, or...? I cannot determine that. I can conclude that the knife wound was at least close to being fatal. Even if Ota was still alive on the workbench, he was certainly on the verge of death. If he weren't already extremely weak, we would expect to see more signs of struggle. Maybe Ota was trying to help Iris, jumping at the criminal? That led to a scuffle and Ota ended up with a knife wound in his side. He lost all power to buy, fight back. He was forcibly put inside the costume and then cut open by the ice cutting machine. But why? Why did the culprit put the costume on Ota? Unknown. They're under autopsy. Their bodies aren't here anymore. Iris also had her left eye removed. Yeah. And like Renju and Shoko, Iris's left eyeball has not been recovered. Hmm. Date, we should get moving. Officers from the local jurisdiction are checking the warehouse thoroughly. We will not find anything of importance here. Yeah, you're right. You can ask CSI to inform you if they find anything. All right. Inspector? Blood stain? Is that Otis blood? I'm heading out. Let me know if you find anything. I'll let them know and then left the warehouse. When I left the warehouse, I saw Pewter. What is he doing here? He walked up to me while I was trying to work it out. Date, I have to talk to you about something. I don't huh? trust you. About the original Cyclops serial killings. Why this all of a sudden? Because I want you to solve this case, Mr. Date. Mm-hmm. I want you to find who did this and bring them to justice. I can't so remember, is can Renju dead in this one? Even a little. Why didn't you say anything in Abyss? The boss was there. I couldn't speak openly in front of her. So I decided to meet you here. 
That is highly right. sus. Let's hear it. Earlier, I told you that I was completely certain the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. Let me explain why. I'll start by telling you the identity of the Cyclops killer. Although, it's more accurate to say, killers. More than one? In the first series of killings, the culprit had an accomplice. One of them was born a murderous psychopath. The other is Rohan Kumakura, the previous chairman of the Kumakuras. They each had a role to play. The murderer committed the homicide, and Rohan removed the eyeball. Okay. Um, about Rohan. 18 years ago, Rohan took a woman's eye. She was already dead. He put his finger into her eye socket and gouged oh. it out. The reason yep. why was simple. He was fascinated by women's eyes. Their beauty stimulated his greed and his desire to possess them. How he do you needed know this? to have them. To make them his own. Driven by this instinctive impulse, he took the woman's eye. From then on, he acquired a grotesque obsession with the eyes of dead women. He was very particular about his need that the eye belonged to a deceased woman. But even being the head of a Yakuza gang, there weren't too many opportunities for him to indulge. His deepest, darkest desire went unfulfilled for years. However, he soon met his ideal partner, the aforementioned psychopath. The Cyclops killer would commit the murder, and Rohan would take the eye. Thus, a mutually beneficial relationship was established. This was the origin of the Cyclops serial killings. At about the same time, you were assigned to Abyss. Okay. Um, who is the murderous psychopath? He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oxytocin is a peptide hormone linked to feelings of love, affection, and trust. It is colloquially referred to as the love hormone. It causes a tranquilizing effect which improves mood and relieves stress. It is normally secreted when the body makes contact with an object of affection, such as an embrace or caress. I'm sure you know what this implies, but he was unable to feel love in the way that we do. However, he was able to experience a substitute. His brain was wired in such a way that allowed him to feel satisfaction through other means. Due to the unique idiosyncrasies of his brain, he was able to release large amounts of dopamine and endorphins by performing a certain action. Let what me was guess. it? Murder. Murder. Dopamine is a hormone linked to the reward system of the brain. The pleasant feeling attained through accomplishment is dopamine. Endorphins are a kind of brain narcotic. They dull pain and create a feeling of happiness. He got pleasure from killing people? It's slightly more complicated than that. Killing people was the only way he could get pleasure. He was 12 when he took his first life. That enlightened Yikes. him to the pleasure of murder, which he would do again and again. Uh, why did the case get classified? That... I don't know. The details of the original Cyclops serial killings case have become nebulous over time. Even the official investigation material contains nothing of value. I am unable to draw any conclusions from them. You really have no idea? If I did, I would tell you. Hmm. Summarize for me. 
The original Cyclops killer had an accomplice. There were two Cyclops killers. And one of them was the former chairman of the Kumakuras, Rohan Kumakura. Rohan committed suicide by jumping to his death one year ago. That means... Pewter, tell me this. One of the original killers is dead, I know that. But that means one remains. Who is he? After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. They actually picked him up on other charges. But, in any case, he is currently serving a life sentence in Fuchu Prison. Fuchu Prison? Yes. What's his name? In prison, he doesn't have a name. He is simply called Number 89. Number 89? I know who killed Shogun Adami. So, now you know why I said that. That the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. Because one is dead, and the other is behind bars. Neither of them had the opportunity. Looks grimly serious. Uh, Matsushita Diner. place was silent. It was so quiet, I could hear, hear the floating dust. Stepped inside. I thought it was empty, but I saw a shadow in the corner of my eye. Oh, this is gonna be sad. It was Mayumi. It was like watching a decaying old tree cling pathetically to the earth. I'm sorry to interrupt. About Ota. Do you want to talk about it? This is your fault. I heard from the police. Because you didn't take care of Iris, my boy Ota got involved. Date, I looked into the investigation report. Mayumi confirmed Ota's body early this morning. I see. I'm sorry. I want to be alone right now. Did you not hear me? I said leave! <laughs> Date, let's go. She is in no state to talk. Yeah, you're right. Date residence. Not sure what we'd find here other than maybe Mizuki? Mizuki's gonna be completely devastated. All she has left is Date. Mizuki is curled up on the sofa. She looked like a small animal frightened by a predator. At the warehouse. About Ota. About Iris. Mizuki must know. About Iris and Ota. Of course. The news was distributed heavily across the internet. Not just in Japan, but worldwide. Three days ago, Mizuki discovered her mother's body. Two days ago, her father's. This morning, two of her best friends. It is completely understandable that she is at her mental limit. Can I be left alone for a while? Are you okay? Yeah. She certainly didn't seem so. Who would be, after all that? I can't stay by her side forever. Aiba, contact Abyss. See if they can get Mizuki a good counselor. Understood. All the counseling in the world is not gonna help that. 
Stayed with her for a while, but we didn't speak. Having nothing more to say, I left. Time to go to the Sagan residence. When I visited the Sagan residence, I found Hitomi with a hollow look in her eyes. She let me in and asked me to sit on the sofa. I agreed and sat down. But after that, I couldn't say a single word. The heavy silence weighed on both of us. Can you think of any information? Hitomi, my entire focus is on this case. Is there anything at all you can tell me? I don't know if this is important, but... No, please, tell me. I may have told you this already. I met Renju's wife Shoko twice before. The first time at the wedding, the second time a month ago. That second time was in the waiting room of the prison. Prison? There's an acquaintance of mine from when we were younger. I visit them a few times a year. And by coincidence, I saw Shoko. I don't think she noticed me, but I recognized her as Renju's wife right away. She was there for the same reason I was, to visit one of the inmates. Do you know who? No, I don't. We didn't talk. Which prison? Fuchu Prison, in Tokyo. Fuchu? Prison? Interesting. About Iris? Iris was my everything. We always went everywhere together. Whether it was buying clothes, or going to the movies, or taking a walk, or going shopping at the supermarket. When she was young, she would just hold one of my fingers. Her hand was too small to hold mine. Then it was two, then three. And finally she could hold my hand. But eventually, she left my hands altogether. She started crossing her arms, being independent, even though she needed constant attention growing up. Her memories are a part of this room. And always will be. When she was a baby, she fell off that sofa and cried and cried. One day, she tore up her picture book all over the floor here. <laughs> Another time, she drew with crayons all over the window. She painted my portrait on Mother's Day. Scratches on the floor, chipped plates, burn marks on the table, stains on the cushions. Everything you see, it all holds a memory of her. But why? My heart goes out to you. About Ota. Ota was one of my students. I taught him in elementary school. I heard it from the police. Ota tried to help Iris and ended up... I don't know what to say. I have no words. Sorry to have bothered you. I'll be going now. I don't know what to do. Thinking about her. Dante, please, you, you have to catch them.
Are you okay, honey? Huh? About last night. I'm gonna say. Well, at three in the morning, anyway. You know about it? It's on every channel. You have the face of a ghost. Do you want a glass? I don't need a drink. I need information. Do you have anything? Well, let's see. I do have... I suppose you could call it intuition. Tell me. Information about the accident. The Kumakuras are involved in this case. Remember what I told you before? That there's a relationship between Ren and the Kumakuras? Shoko also has a relationship with them. You know about her dealings with the Kumakuras, right? So basically, two of the victims are linked to the Kumakuras. That must mean they're involved somehow, right? Not two. Three. Three? Iris? No, not that one. The boy. Ota? He came here last night. Ota? Yes, from Matsushita Diner. He's linked to the Kumakuras as well. How? That's new. Have you heard the rumor? You told me a similar story to Iroh's. About Sosajima and the Kabasaki district. Basic idea is this. Eight years ago, so sold his land in the Kawasaki district for 30 billion yen. Half a year later, an explosion at the chemical plant caused the land prices to drop drastically. So bought the land back for 1 billion yen. Almost like he knew beforehand that the accident would happen. Did So blow it up, or conspire to blow it up? No, that wouldn't make sense. So wouldn't gain anything from that. He would end up with 29 billion in cash and 1 billion in land. It's a net zero. But there's more to the story. About So in the Kawasaki district. The Kumakuras own a handful of real estate companies. They of course look legit, but they're Yakuza fronts. I'll call those real estate companies the K.E. to keep it simple for you. The K.E. followed in So's footsteps. They bought up land in Kabasaki. Okay. Well, tell me more about that. Now, back to So. Have you heard of the plans for the casino in Kabasaki? What casino? So was the one who came up with it. I was born and raised in Kabasaki. I remember the landscape of my childhood, and I loved it dearly. But look at Kabasaki now. When I see images of the destruction on television, my heart aches like it's being chopped to pieces. But I promise you, I will revive the Kabasaki district at any cost. Casino Town Kabasaki will give new life to the city! So he's re After that, So moved fast. He submitted the bills he needed to the National Assembly after drumming up support in the right places. The bills passed and it became an official government initiative. Decontamination efforts therefore increased at a rapid pace in the Kabasaki district. At the moment, the area is still considered off-limits. However, the air in Kabasaki is currently purified to such an extent that it has no negative effect on the human body. Hmm. If the plan goes smoothly, land prices in Kabasaki are going to skyrocket. And all that land is owned by the KE. And by So himself. The land he bought back for one billion will be worth ten times that soon. He's involved in some shady business. How is Ota connected? This is just another rumor, but 
The chemical plant exploding was no accident. It was done intentionally. By so in the Kumakuras, you mean? Yeah, but we suspected there's that. no hard evidence of that. It's just gossip. What about Ota, though? Uh, what were we talking about again? Pay Ota attention. and the Kumakuras. Oh, right! You know how Matsushita Diner is close to the Kabasaki district? The chemical plant explosion made times hard. Foot traffic went down, sales declined. No wonder it closed down. Ota must hold a grudge. Someone caused that explosion. And if it was intentional, oh, he'd hate them even more. That's how I link Ota to the Kumakuras. That's just hearsay, though. Say goodbye. Thank you, Mama. I don't know if what you told me will lead to anything, but... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time. No, no. It was very helpful. I'm glad I can help. Even if it's just a little. Well then, be seeing you. Come back anytime. Alright. Let's go to Abyss. Police headquarters, Monday, 4, 4 57 p.m. It returned to boss's office to report. But I didn't see her anywhere. Where did she go? Well, she isn't always here, correct? True. I sat down in my usual seat and decided to wait for boss. What are you doing? I thought it would be easier to talk like this. What do we have to talk about? A summary of the investigation, perhaps? What summary? We don't have anything new. That's not true. Huh? I was curious, so I did some research. About number 89. You don't say. That is a lot. I think we'll pick that up on Thursday and find out more about 89 at that time. So for now, we're gonna just save. Welcome back, hobbits. Phone died while you were meal prepping. Did we find the killer yet? No. We just have more questions. We haven't gotten any answers. Um, Ota and Iris are both dead in this route. Um, boss is acting strange. Uh, and currently missing in action. Um, and uh, we found out that the um, original Cyclops killer was two different people. One was uh, Rohan, uh, who would take the eyeballs, and uh, the other was a psychotic killer, which was number 89, who was imprisoned in Fuju prison. And um, I think in this route, hasn't escaped. So he's still at Fuju prison. So it's completely impossible that the original killers did it. But, uh... Yeah. It's lots of questions. Every time we get an answer, it, we just end up with more questions. Like, uh, did Iris see all that stuff when she was, what, 12? Like, it's not really known. But, uh, all that will be 
figured out, hopefully, on Thursday when we come back to it for an hour at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then on Saturday, we will most likely be playing Jackbox for stream. I haven't really decided uh, what I'm going to wear as a costume. I might just be myself. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun time. I'm a bit tired. I'm going to probably call it quits here. Um, so stick around after the credits uh, to go to the next streamer. Let's see, who do we have? We have the options of... Uh, well, actually, it looks like uh, Hobbits is streaming as well. Overwatch. Pionk and Hobbits. Alright then. So, like I said, stick around after the credits to head to the next streamer. And, uh, as always, my lovelies, sleep well when you get to it. <laughs>